This time of year, everyone's traveling a ton. Now, travel really beats up my shoulders, my hips, and my spine. So we thought it would be a great idea to put together a follow-along routine to train just that. We're going to prioritize hip rotation, shoulder rotation, and then spine segmentation. All you need to complete this routine, maybe a yoga block, something to squeeze in your hand. I'm going to use a fat grip. You could sub a tennis ball, anything you have handy at home, and then maybe a pillow instead of the yoga block if you don't have one. To get started, I want to do some drills for the spine. So we're going to come into a quadruped position, starting with some cat cows. I'd like you to grab that yoga block or the pillow, throw it right in between your knees, squeeze it, some good tension here. Now, as we round our back into flexion, I want you to push your hands forward to keep your shoulder blades engaged. And then as we extend our back into extension, I want you to drag your hands towards you. Nice and slow, we're gonna get two reps starting at the pelvis. Big breath in, tension on that yoga block. I want you to start by pushing hands forward in the floor, pose to your pelvic tuck, start rounding that lumbar spine one vertebrae at a time, one millimeter at a time, working your way through the mid back, to the high T-spine base of the neck, really slow chin sets down. Nice breath here. Hands drag towards you, tension on that block, and to your pelvic tilt. Start extending one vertebrae at a time. Do your best here not to let the spine chunk, but really fight for one inch moving by itself. Back out that extension, eyes go last. Hands pressing forward, rep two, post your pelvic tuck rounding that spine, work for it here, don't rush. Mid back, T-spine, chest reaching concave, base of the neck, finally the chin sets down. <sighs> Hands dragging towards you, last time, anterior tilt, good tension on that block, no shift, make sure shoulders stay over hands, peel, lifting to the chest, collarbones, finally the eyes. So global cat cows love these to start getting some motion in the back, but they can be really tough to disassociate motion, especially if you're sitting and you're traveling right now. So let's try a few variations that might be a little bit simpler. I'd like you to come into your best seated kneel position. Now, if it's tough for you to sit low kneeling as I'm showing, what you could do is again, take your pillow, your yoga block, whatever you need to do, just sit up on it, something like this, but be in a position that's comfortable. Now, either way, I want your hands on your thighs. Big breath in and out here, some good tension. Press those hands down. What we're gonna do is prioritize pelvis motion. So to the very beginning of that cat cow, think about moving through the pelvis and then maybe L5, L4, L4, L3, those first two L spine vertebrae, but that's about it. It's a small range of motion. Good tension, hands driving down. Post your pelvic tuck, start reaching that low L spine into flexion. That's about it. Belt buckle sitting back. I feel my hips actually sit on the heels here. Good tension, now reverse, anteriorly tilt, sitting forward on the heels, pull the belt buckle forward and then freeze. That's it, we'll try two more. <sighs> Slowly pose here, tuck into flexion, no change in the upper back of the neck. Reversing now, tilting, extending, use your breathing here. <sighs> Last time, tuck, round that low back, might even feel some abs engage. Reversing, tilting, pull into that low back extension. Now that's my favorite drill if you feel like your low back was really clunky as you went through that cat cow, specifically in that low back position. You wanna work this drill, that seated kneel, slowly grooving the pelvis in and out of posterior and to your pelvic tuck. So next, we're gonna to come to all fours again, and we'll do a variation for the lumbar spine overall. So fold down to your elbows, bring your head down to your hands just like this, Tiptoe knees underneath your hips. Take a moment. Get a breath. Now I want you to round your upper back towards the sky. Really drive tension through your elbows. We're going to use this to block our thoracic spine, our upper back in place, and really isolate the lumbar spine. So three reps match my tempo. Good tension. Breath in with the exhale. Anteriorly tilt. Slowly extending that lumbar spine. Max out that position, good tension, reverse, tuck, flex one millimeter at a time. Reversing, anteriorly tilt and extend. Posteriorly tuck and flex. Fight for control, it's a tiny range of motion. One more time, tilting, extending, tucking and flexing. Slowly out of that position. I'd like you to come back in that seated kneel if you can. Same idea, 
use a pillow, whatever you need to do, prop your hips up a little bit if necessary. You can always do these seated as well. But next up, we're gonna do a T-spine cat-cow. So the hands are on the floor. This time we're in this seated kneel position to lock the pelvis and the low back in place, allowing us to isolate the thoracic spine. Quick disclaimer, travel beats up the thoracic spine. These may not even look like you're moving, but work for every inch that you can. So hands are down on the floor. Again, as we flex the spine, pushing forward, as we extend the spine, dragging back. Big breath in, starting at the mid back, right about here. Hands driving forward in the floor. I start rounding mid back, chest reaching, concave chest, base of the collarbones. Then finally my chin sets down. Try and keep that low back still. Reverse, hands drag towards you, peel through mid-back, lifting chest, sternum, collarbones as best you can, finally eyes, <sighs> hands push forward, mid C-spine rounding, chest reaching, concave chest, upper back, chin sets down, reversing, peeling, extending, one inch at a time, fight for it, it's not going to be much, but do your best, eyes go last, last time here, rounding mid-back, upper back, base of the neck, finally the chin reaches, hands reverse, peeling, find that extension. <sighs> One nice breath there, and now we're all done with the spine. Again, really want to prioritize spine segmentation, moving the spine in and out of flexion to make sure we're not too stuck in any static postures as we're traveling. Next up, we're going to come down to a sideline position. We'll lie on our right side. We're going to start with our left hip cars. Hit. What I'd like you to do, take this yoga block, put it right behind your lower back. Now, glue the yoga block to your pelvis such that if you turn your lower back, you'll knock over the yoga block. Catch yourself if you start cheating, making these a spine drill. Tension down on the floor here, big breath in and out. Starting with three global hip cars here for this left hip. I want you to flex your hip, drive your knee up to your elbow. Open that hip out, abduct as far as you can that your bottom knee stays on the floor and you don't knock over that yoga block. Internally rotate. Fight to pull your heel behind you. Don't let your knee drop. Slowly decelerate down and continue the rep. Flexing forward, max out, knee to elbow, drive knee up and out. Fight towards that armpit. Heel pulls back. Don't let the knee jump around. Fight into extension, pulling Decelerate down. One more rep. Good tension here. <sighs> Exhale through that sticky spot. Typically IR for most of us. Heel pulls back. Extend. Slowly decelerate down. This time reversing direction. Heel drops. Knee drives out. Externally rotate. Fight up towards your armpit. Slowly pull through back into flexion. Continue extending back, externally rotate tension, don't lose bottom knee on the floor. Drive your knee up towards your armpit and pull through to your elbow. One last rep and then we're gonna freeze in abduction. Extend, externally rotate, fight out. Find that abducted position and freeze there. Now quickly, if there's any pinching in the front of your hip, I want you to regress the height of your knee slightly, but try and glue your thigh in this position. Imagine a shelf that your knee had to stay in contact with. In this position, what we're gonna do is some capsule cars, trying to rotate our femur, turning our thigh. So good tension here again, don't lose bottom knee on the floor, don't lose that low back on the yoga block. Good breath in and out. Three reps, high tension, internally rotate, pull heel back, don't let your knee jump around. Freeze, less range than you think. Externally rotate, so tough here, pull your heel forward, drive your knee out, reversing IR. ER, IR, use your breathing, real tough, fight for your range, ER, nothing else helping, finish through third, slowly come down. Now, I wanna train a little bit of internal rotation while we're in the sideline position. One of my favorite drills, super simple. Grab that yoga block, the pillow, whatever you're using behind your back, throw it right in between your knees. Now, I want you to actively adduct, good tension in your feel those inner thighs. Squeeze tension, think about outer glute, dorsiflex ankles. Slowly, internally rotate, left hip, pull your heel up as high as you can. Stop before you notice any hike in your hip. Don't let this happen, keep strict position. Slowly decelerate back down, just three reps. <sighs> internally rotate, train this hip capsule, hone this workspace one more time. <sighs> notice the timing of the exhale, I exhale as I drive that heel up. So. Little bit of hip IR work. Next, I wanna train some hip ER for the right hip before we do an ISO-MP to get to the opposite side and repeat.
So we come up to 90-90, that left leg now in back. I want to now prioritize a little bit of extra turn rotation for this right leg. So yoga block options again. If 90-90 is really tough for you to sit upright without your hands, maybe you feel like you're kind of hunching over like this, or maybe you feel like you can't keep your knee on the ground, what I want you to do is use your yoga block to regress. Option one is to sit on it. So literally take your block underneath your lead glute. You can lean a little bit more weight forward. It's gonna make it much easier to be here. Option two, you can actually take that yoga block and just prop your knee up and complete the set from here. Either way, a little bit less demands on the hips in this position. Otherwise, yoga block's gonna be out to the side, stiff arming down into it for good tension. What I wanna get here, three good reps of kinetic stretching for the lead leg. Super tough and all about intent. The intent, as I fold forward, I'm trying to externally rotate this hip using regressive tension. So what that's gonna be is me squeezing my knee down, attempting to lift my foot towards my chest as I pull forward. I'm using that tension on this side of my hip to actively pull myself down like a suction cup, trying to stay as tall and long in my spine as I can. As I find the basing of the stretch and I can't maintain effort in my hip and I start losing my spine position, I'll end the rep and then drive through my foot, pressing back tall actively. So kinetic stretching, intent driven stretching, trying to pull with regressive hip external rotation and then press back up with progressive hip external rotation. Three good reps, match my tension, use that yoga block however you need to. Opposite hand can lift, big breath in, find long spine position, lift that chest. I want you to drive your right knee down, try and lift that foot, start pulling forward as tall as you can be. Five, four, tension, three, two, don't lose that low back. One, press your foot down, shove yourself back tall with your glute. Big breath in, rep two. Dent that knee down, lift that foot up, pull, five, actively pulling yourself down, three, two, stay tall, don't lose that low back, drive through that foot, reset your tension. Last rep, if you'd like to progress, it's feeling a little easy, just feel free to lift that opposite hand, way tougher in this position. Big breath in, drive that knee down, trying to lift that foot, pull, five, four, high tension, don't lose spine, two, one, drive through that foot, Pressing back tall. Now, take a moment, catch your breath. Next up, we've got an ISO MP called a bear sit transfer. Challenge for this trail leg, working a bunch of rotation through the knee and the hip together. We're gonna use this challenge to get from this side of 99 to the opposite, and then repeat this full series for the other side. So the bear sit transfer, again, you can use your hand on this yoga block or feel free to just kick it out of the side. We'll come back to it in a moment. Regression, hands are down. Progression can lift up the hands. Either way, options start with the trail leg. Option one, point your foot, lift your heel. If that bothers your knee, instead, maybe you can lift the midfoot like this instead. Either way, start by initiating with ankle and tibia, and then we're gonna drive through this ankle, knee, and hip. So hands can be down, glue this knee to the floor, high tension, I lift my heel, I start externally rotating my hip out of this position, grooving that rotation, pivoting through each toe, big toe to second, to third, to fourth, to pinky, maxing out hip abduction before this knee would lift, and then slowly I simply switch sides. I start closing that knee towards the floor, pulling through my right hip, again notice that pivot through the toes, squeeze the IR out of that right leg, finish into 90-90 on the opposite side. Take a moment, get a breath. And now we're coming down sideline on our left hip to work that right hip series. So sideline position now on the left side. Again, yoga block's gonna go behind the lower back. Use this for tactile feedback. Do not lose pelvis position. This pelvis point has to stay forward. This bottom knee is glued to the floor. Don't cheat and make this a spine drill. High tension, keep these strict. Three hip cars sideline into three hip capsule cars. And then we get that IR work. Big breath in. High tension, drive hand through the floor. Ankle is dorsiflex. Flex right hip. Open that hip up and out. Max out abduction, but keep knee on the floor. Internally rotate, pull behind you. Slowly we extend and decelerate. Continue. Good breathing. Flex abduct. Drive that heel out. Internally rotate. Decelerate through extension. Reset your tension. Coming forward, rep three. Flex. Drive knee up and out, fight for armpit, pull that heel back, max out extension, lower with control, and now we're gonna reverse. Extend back, heel drops, knee drives out, ER, fight for armpit, and slowly pull through. Challenge yourself, use your breathing, extend. ER, fight through abduction, 
decelerate back into flexion. One more time, we stay in abduction for our capsule cars. Externally rotate, abduct, freeze in that position. Again, if you run into any kind of closing angle pinch, you can back out of that range a little bit, even lower the knee down a little bit. Either way, good tension. Bottom knee on the floor, ankle is dorsiflexed. Internally rotate, externally rotate. Working just to turn the femur in and then turn the femur out. So tough, nothing else moving. It's not much, but fight for it. IR and ER. Now slowly decelerate down. Grab the yoga block for our internal rotation work. Right back in between the thighs, actively adduct and good tension. Dorsiflex that ankle, squeeze that block. Exhale, drive that heel up high. Lower with control. Think about pre-tensioning. We wanna feel that high lateral hip engage. Squeeze down, think about high lateral hip. Use that breathing, use your tension. One more time. Driving up and decelerating down. All done sideline, back to 90-90 now, left leg in front. Wanna get that kinetic stretching, challenging external rotation, all about intent. As we fold forward again, you're driving knee down, trying to lift the foot up, pulling yourself into the basement of the stretch actively, then drive through your heel, actively pushing yourself out. Three reps here, again, regressions. Yoga block could come under my hip, prop myself up, or yoga block could come under my knee, prop my knee up there. Either way, that will work. Tension through this block, stiff arming down, squeeze this fist, proud chest, lengthen your spine. Think about that intent, dent your knee down, trying to lift that foot and pull. Five, four, high tension, three, two, one, drive through that heel, press back, press back, press back. Big breath in, second rep, higher tension, more tension through that outside hand, try and lift that heel up, pull. Five seconds, long in your spine, don't lose that low back. Three, two, chest past the shin if you can, press through that foot, coming back tall. Last rep, best rep, if you can, lift those hands. High tension, try and dent knee down, lift that foot up and pull. Five, four, three, two, stay tall, drive through that foot, pressing back up, slowly your hand comes down. Breathe for a moment. Now, all done with our hips, time to pivot focuses. Wanna get a little bit of T-spine and then we're jumping into a quick shoulder series. Come into a kneeling position next. So T-spine cars are up next. Low kneeling is my favorite position to work these, especially if I'm traveling. It helps us lock the low back in place, really disassociate the thoracic spine. Now, if low kneeling again is a lot for you, you can try propping yourself up with the pillar of the blocks we've already shown, or just sit on a chair for these. If you're seated, just make sure you're trying to sit up really tall. Big self hug for these. Your chin's gonna set slightly down. Slowly start rounding the upper back, pulling yourself into thoracic flexion just like cat. Max out flexion, now rotate, turn left. Dip your shoulder and extend. Reach the chest to the sky, drop your shoulder back, rotate and flex. Nice and slow here, continue only getting two reps. Flexion into rotation, into side bending, low back stays still. Reach your chest to the sky, shoulder drops back, turns. Don't lead with the eyes here, lead with your chest. Max out flexion, now reversing direction, rotate right. Side bend back, reach your chest to the sky, trying to isolate T-spine, drop shoulder back, rotate right. Good breathing, smooth motion, one more time, rotate, side bend, extend, bending, turning, and flexing through. So, T-spine awake, let's get some scapula and shoulders, just two reps of everything. Really like to prioritize hip and spine segmentation, and then as you have time, definitely a great idea when traveling to get in some T-spine and upper body as well. Come into a half kneel next. Grab that fat grip, the tennis ball, whatever you're squeezing. Good tension here. Squeeze whatever you got. Proud half kneel position. Want you to tuck that pelvis. Find a slight stretch. Get your weight over that lead foot. Going to bring your arm up right in line with your chest. Squeeze whatever is in your hand. Protract. Reach shoulder blade forward. Elevate. Shrug up to your ear. Retract. Pinch back. Don't flare your ribs. Squeeze down to your hip, go slow, forward, up, back, and down. Now reverse direction from scapula depression, retract back, elevate up, protract forward, high tension, pop whatever's in your hand, down to the floor, back towards the spine, squeeze up towards your ear, and reach forward. So scapula's awake, shoulder cars staying high tension, staying half kneeling if you can, if it's too much for your knee, 
could definitely stand, maybe a staggered stance for these. Shoulder curls, two reps, high tension, stiff arming down. I want you to externally rotate, show your bicep out, reach across your body slowly as you pass your nose, your thumb turns back. Internally rotate as you get overhead, reach behind you, turn those knuckles in, trying to max out your IR. Just like the hip, want to prioritize rotation as we're traveling. Extend, externally rotate, turn as much as you can. Drop that thumb, lead with the pinky overhead, externally rotating, show your palm to the sky, adduct across and lower with control. One more rep, <sighs> ER adducts, fight up in deflection, pass your nose, thumb kicks back, high tension, chest forward, internally rotate, spin that humerus in as far as you can. Fight for IR, fight for IR, knuckles to hip. <sighs> Extending back, externally rotating, driving overhead. As you get overhead, more ER and descend it down. Take a second, get a breath. <sighs> Can come back into a tall kneeling position. Get tension in that opposite fist. Bring that right arm up and out. Now think of your elbow resting on an imaginary shelf, fighting for IR and ER of this right shoulder. Some capsule cars here, big breath in. Just two reps, internally rotate, squeeze humerus in. Show knuckles towards the floor, externally rotate, try and pull knuckles behind elbow, keep that scapula retracted. IR, fight for slow controlled reps here, pull, pull, pull. <sighs> ER, squeezing behind. And now we're gonna flip sides, coming opposite side, half kneel. Scapula cars, nothing changes, good posterior pelvic tuck, fine stretch in that trail hip, a little bit of weight forward, tension down through this hand, bring that arm right up in line with your chest, proud chest position, squeeze whatever you got, protract forward, elevate up, retract back, depress down, go slow, reach forward, reach up, pinch back, squeeze down. As you find depression, we'll reverse direction now. We retract and elevate, Protract and depress. Go small, squeezing down, back, up, and forward. Now, bring that hand down to your side, shoulder cards next, high tension here. Externally rotate, adduct across, start flexing that shoulder at the height of the nose, thumb kicks back, internally rotate, spin that humerus in as far as you can, fight for your rotation, especially when traveling. Extend back, fight behind you, ER, Work on this position, carve that workspace, pinky forward, thumb back. Continue externally rotating as you decelerate across. Just one more rep. Just one more rep. Externally rotate, adduct across, drive overhead, flex at the height of the nose, internally rotate, drive behind you, max out extension, show those knuckles in. Extending back, ER. Fight through abduction, drive overhead, continue externally rotating as you decelerate down. Back to that tall kneeling position, get a breath. <sighs> tall kneeling position, tension in that opposite fist, bring that left shoulder up and out. Again, your elbow's resting on an imaginary shelf. Internally rotate, squeeze knuckles beneath elbow. Externally rotate, squeezing back, continue. <sighs> IR, fight for as much motion as you can and ER pulling behind you as far as you can. So warm up those shoulders, love those scapula cards, of course, global shoulder cards and our capsule cards. Now, I really think the swimmer hover is something we should all be training. It's just a really good way to incorporate shoulder rotation and some elbow involvement as well. So to finish up here, come back into a low kneel if you can, otherwise sit and let's get some swimmer hovers. I'm gonna show you face and away. In a low kneeling position, we're gonna bring our hands into our lower back. This challenges some shoulder internal rotation. So if there's any pain in the front of the shoulder, you can feel free to bring your hands a little bit lower or even wider out towards your ribs. It's very easy, challenge yourself by bringing your hands up higher. From there, big breath in, squeeze that chin back. I want you to retract your scapula, pinch that upper back, load your shoulders by pulling your elbows as far behind you as you can. Now lift your hands, active shoulder IR, Fight for elbow extension, hinge elbows, externally rotate, turn that humerus, reach overhead, stay as far behind you as you can, letter Y position, bend those elbows, hover your hair, decelerate down to the back of the neck, take a moment, big breath in, ribs are down, head is squeezed back, retract scapula, load those shoulders, pull elbows behind you, active ER, lift those hands and hold, hinge up, letter Y, Internally rotate as you reach behind, max out your extension, flip those palms to the sky, decelerate down as you need to, bend those elbows, 
Three, setting back into starting position. One more rep, best rep yet. Big breath in, good tension. Chin back, retract. Elbows, hands lift. Actively extend, squeeze those triceps. ER as you hover up high. Squeezing overhead, pinkies forward, letter Y. Bend those elbows, reach as far as you can, as far as you can, set down softly. Retract, elbows pull back, head is still, hands lift, hinge up, internally rotate, reach behind you as far as you possibly can, turn those arms in, bend those elbows, set down soft, get a breath. So some of my favorite drills to sneak in when traveling, great series working spine segmentation, then hip rotation, a little bit of shoulder as well, and then anytime you're traveling, Great idea to do some neck cards. So to close things out, bring those hands down low. If low kneeling is not comfortable, just have a seat. Shoulder blades are squeezed towards the floor, chin coming down to the chest, rotating, turning left. Drop your ear back, extends to the sky. From extension, ear drops back, turns, flexes through. Rotate, turn left, side bend back, extend. Decelerate to the shoulder, turn, flex through. Last half rep, rotate, side bend, extend, side bend, rotate, flex, continue, turning, dropping, extending, dropping, turning, flexing through. So we are all finished. I want to wish you a happy holidays here from Move How. Really hope you enjoyed that series. Would love to hear your feedback. Please drop me a note.